Hi, in this video, so I'm going to show you how to change the batteries in Salter scales. We've got two different examples here. This one's particularly easy. This one's a bit fiddly. So we'll start with the easy one. Both of these take the battery CR2032. But often, if you have the a look at the back of your scale, it will tell you. For example, it says 2 times 3 volts CR2032, just down here. And on this one, Again, it says one times CR2032. So you get an idea of what battery it takes without even taking it apart. Now, on both of these models, you do need to use a little Phillips screwdriver. That's a little crosshead screwdriver. And we're going to undo the screw just here. Don't lose it. And we're going to lift up this little tab here and lift it up. This is the battery in here. You can just get your finger or your nail under this side. It helps if you push in this way and then lift it up, and that will allow you to take the battery out. In this instance, these scales are not low on battery. I'm just doing it purely for the video. And then you get your replacement battery. Make sure it says CR2032, and you're going to be placing it with the positive side up. You can see the positive is just there. And you're going to be putting it in from the left-hand side here, where that bit is there, and you're going to be pushing it in like that, and then put the two little tabs in here, Lock it into place, get your screwdriver and your little Phillips screw and put it back in. Hopefully that should now be working. I'll show you that working at the end. So let's move on to the other one. This one here is a lot more awkward. So this one takes two and again we have a little Phillips screw, so undo the screw. Push that tab in, lift up here. Now with these ones, again, like the other one, you can push in this way and it will lift out like so. But if you have a look on this one, when I try to push it in here, it's kind of getting a bit jammed. So what you have to do is you have to push down, then push in this way, and then lift up. And you can see now it will, uh, it will come out nicely. So yeah, for some reason with this one, it always pushes down in there, and it doesn't allow you to push in here and take it out. So you just push it down, then push it that way, and then up. And again, when you put your replacement ones in, you can see that you're pushing against these two bits here. So you're coming in from this way, down at an angle, place it in and in, and again this way down at an angle, like so, like that, in and in. Positive side facing you. Two tabs in there first, click down and do the screw up. Now hopefully you will find that they will both start working again. Like so. Thanks for watching.